Just thought I'd uh, give you a quick uh, tour of a couple more lamps that I have. This is a um, little finger lamp. Uh, the patent date on there is 1870 and it's for this uh, Lomax oil guard they call it. Um, when you fill the lamp you unscrew the burner, set it aside and any drips are caught by this so you can wipe it up. So this little lamp uh, here has a Queen Anne number uh, number zero actually burner and I just got done filling it and trimming up the wick so I'll light this up for you in a sec but um, this is pretty much the quintessential Victorian burner right here this Queen Anne burner here's the uh, chimney very old turn of the century um, pretty good condition. Got the little pearl trim on the top. So I'll light this up in here. Let me set this down. There she be. Puts out a decent amount of light. Uh, and smoke if you don't watch it. These are these little finger lamps are good for uh, when you're moving from room to room, and uh, they also used them as night lights. You would turn them way down and set them next to your bed, hopefully away from anything combustible, and uh, if you had to get up in the middle of the night, you could have enough light to move around the room safely. And we kind of use it the same way. We kind of use it as a nightlight sometimes uh, when we're off grid at a cabin that we go to. And also it's uh, kind of handy when you go out to the uh, outhouse. So that's a little uh, fingers lamp, the Lomax uh, oil guard. And uh, here's the uh, burner I was working on in the last video. It is a um, Eric and Grotz 20 line burner. Um, I mounted it on this font. It's got the gallery lift. And uh, I rustled up this um, shade for it. An old Victorian, uh, it came from an old um, entryway or, or hallway uh, lamp. It's actually not for a, uh, really for a table lamp, but uh, I do stuff like that all the time. I mix and match fittings and shades and whatnot. So I will light that up and show you that. And last but not least, this is a this is a very rare Eric and Grotz burner because this one also has besides a gallery lift, it also has a snuffer wheel. And if you'll watch just below the flame spreader, let's see if I can do this one-handed. The snuffer rolls up and down via this little wheel do it one more time uh, <clears throat> you can actually extinguish the lamp this way so that's kind of a handy feature, especially if you have a hanging lamp. You uh, normally would turn down the wick all the way and, and blow it out. 
uh, with this, with the snuffer, you can just literally snuff the flame without adjusting the wick at all. So that's a pretty good feature. And uh, this is an original Graz ENG uh, font. Um, this is an export model. You can tell that by the kind of generic marking. They would use a star. Uh, this is probably out of a hanging lamp of some sort. Pretty good condition. Polished up very well. Everything seems to be working. Everything was stuck when I got this. <clears throat> and it took quite a bit of effort to get everything unstuck. And then once I had everything unstuck, I noticed I had to solder a couple of things uh, that were loose. And uh, I do a little soldering myself, but for the tricky stuff, I, I have a, a lamp repair guy that I send out all the soldering for. So anyway, just wanted to show show you that. That is something you will not see every day. I'm a lamp kind of a lamp collector slash enthusiast and I've only come across a few of these um, and almost all of them were overseas I had to mail order when I bought them so I'll be back with this lamp all lit up so here we go we have it all have the lamp all lit up and you can see uh, with the font in that uh, nice Victorian hallway shade makes up for a pretty lamp if I do say so simpler times.